Hello everyone, it's Anton here and in this video I want to do a walkthrough of Ample Note. This is a note taking app that combines tasks into the into the actual experience and it does a pretty good job of it in a, in a minimalistic way. Now the app runs on the within the browser on your desktop so it does support uh, Windows and Mac and it also has a, applications that support the Android ecosystem and the iOS platform as well. So it's pretty versatile in where you can use the app. So you can either use it on your desktop and then pick up and go mobile. It is a SaaS based app application. So everything's in the cloud. You don't have access to your files directly like you do with Obsidian, but it is a holistic type um, solution for note taking and task management and we'll get into some of that as well so to add a little context around the thought process of ample note and the application and how they view the process of execution here for ideas and they start off with this phase one of capturing and and writing which they have a jot section in the app then they look at the organization and revision of your different notes, um, planning and prioritizing your tasks, and then also scheduling and executing um, around the calendar portion of this here. Now, before I move into the walkthrough part of the video, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. It helps the channel out and it helps this content get out to other individuals just like yourself. With that said, let's get on to the video. In the first area here of the uh, Ample Notes, we have the Jots, which is where you put all of your daily notes. The next section here we have is the Notes area, and this is where you'll put all your notes. And in the notes, you can add tasks in the note, um, of course, text. And if we go down through some of these here, we can see that they have different colors where there are different priorities. And you can do backlinking in here. You can see there's links. At the bottom, you can uh, show hidden, completed, and also backlinks that are in the note. Um, you can go in and you can uh, check off any notes that you've done and then and then complete it. It'll give you some kind of progress here or at least some gamification type status of how many uh, notes you've you've completed. If we go into this test note here we can show off the backlinking capability. So I'm going to back add a backlink to the previous note and we see the link shows up here and if we go to the to the other note and down at the bottom into backlinks, we will see that there is now a link at, um, from the previous note to test to this note. So moving up, we can click on each of these uh, tasks that are in here and you can schedule them. You can set up uh, repeating due dates, reminders, uh, you can hide the actual note and you can set priorities and durations in here. You can also add tags to the note in its top portion here and it does support parent child tags. Now if we click on the three dots we have different options. We can publish the note and we can create a public link or we can create an embed code. Go back in, we can add collaborators by adding their email address here and you can select whether they can edit or share. And you can apply a vault password. You can delete a note. You get more options here where you can duplicate the note, lock the note, and even archive the note. If we come down to the bottom, we can do the version history where we can see the revisions. And in the revisions, if we need to restore revisions, we can do so. And we can also go down at the bottom here, we can see the 
open task, completed task, and then view all the details for the specific task that we're selected on. Now, if we go into the task area, we get to see all of the tasks within our vault with no text. And then we can click the three dots to be able to group the task in a few different ways or the notes in a few different ways. We can do last change, uh, change by me, opened and date. We can also sort the task by task score, newest and oldest. And we can show or hide the, uh, the hidden task here. Now if we come over to the left hand side here, we can see the shortcuts. Each different task or context has different shortcuts. We can see on the notes we have the today, this week and archived. And in the jots we have the daily jots. At the bottom of the menu you can uh, collapse the sidebar or expand it so you can see the explorer window. If you go into the account settings we have a few things here where we can change the email address, our password, we can set up a two-step verification and then down here at the bottom we can see the recent sessions that were had Now in personal settings, we can go ahead and change our name and also set up the mail to note feature. In the task calendar here, we can set up one or more calendars to sync to. We can go to our payment plan and make changes here. You can import Evernote and in Evernote you need the ENEX file and you can import from Rome with a JSON file and then you can also import the markdown files or mark or from a zip file with markdown files. You can invite friends to the application for sharing. And we can also download the mobile app to iOS and Android. If we go back into the settings here, they have the help center and you can also change from dark mode to light mode. And if we switch over to the mobile device or the mobile app here on iOS, we can see that it's not much different. You get the jots area you can still get to notes and see your tasks and the list of your notes. You can set your schedules for your notes and priorities and things just like you could on the desktop. You have the task view where all your tasks are. You also still have the tags on the side panel and you can do quick notes and do just about everything that you can do in a desktop app, but from your mobile device. So this is really nice. So in summary, they've done a really good job at combining your tasks, your daily notes, and then just your regular notes all into one solution. It also looks like they're going to be adding a calendar view to the application, which would add a bit more context from a scheduling perspective or if, when you're what when your tasks are scheduled within the application. Now there is a free trial for Ample Note, but after the free trial, you will have to subscribe to one of their subscription models or tiers here, either the basic, the pro or the founder. So that was a quick look at Ample Note on the desktop and on mobile. If you found this helpful, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have a nice day.